The premise of the movie is set in the late period of the Chinese dynasty named Qin. A group of bandits is partying in the desert after robbing a town. The main attraction of the party is a beautiful woman who they have abducted for their pleasure. The leader doesn't let anyone touch her, wanting to save her for himself. She is taken into a room where he promises to give her anything she wants, even his heart. The woman seductively touches his chest before ripping his heart out in an instant. It is revealed that her name is Mina, and she is an evil fox spirit who feasts on human hearts to maintain her youthful appearance. She frequently uses her charm to seduce powerful or evil men. Their hearts have more chakra than the others, which she uses to manifest an orb. It is a special weapon at her disposal, which can be used to kill people and even bring them back to life. At the same time, the bandits are attacked by a great warrior named General Wang and his soldiers. They defeat the bandits in a fierce battle that goes on for hours. Wang finds Mina half-naked in a room and sympathizes with her. He gives her a cloth to cover herself and carries her to a horse. Unaware of her true identity, the soldiers also welcome Mina and bring her back to their town. Mina has never felt compassion from any man, which makes her actually fall in love with Wang. However, upon reaching the town, she sees that he has a wife named Pei Rong who loves him very much. She welcomes him back, happy that he wasn't hurt in the battle. She is also glad to see a new companion, but the same cannot be said for Mina. She starts living a new life and settles into the general's residence. During this time, she falls deeper in love with Wang, but is troubled by her growing friendship with Pei Rong. A month later, someone breaks into the town's entrance at night. Wang goes out to look for the intruder and finds him unconscious. It is none other than his old friend and former general, Yang. They know he is not a threat to the town and its people. Hence, they bring him back to the general's residence and provide him with proper medical treatment. Pei Rong is shocked to see Yang and is worried about him. It turns out that before she married Wang, she and Yang used to be a couple. But he left his people after a battle and never returned. At night, Pei Rong registers that Yang's arrival has been bothering her husband. She assures Wang that he is the only person she loves. Things start getting steamy, but when Wang looks back at her face, he sees Mina. Shocked, he wakes up and realizes it was only a dream. What he doesn't know is that Mina is making him fall in love with her subconsciously. Meanwhile, she is in her room. She refuses to eat dinner and sends a maid away. Then arrives a male spirit named Xiao Wei with raw hearts for her to eat. He is Mina's friend who has been helping her by bringing a human heart every day so she can maintain her beauty without being suspected. But the frequent deaths and dead bodies with missing hearts have sparked several rumors in the town. Wang has tightened the security and is trying his best to find the culprit. The next day, Yang wakes up and finds Pei Rong taking care of him. He apologizes for arriving out of the blue and blames it on the alcohol he drank that night. Wang asks him to stay in the town and help them find the murderer, but he refuses. Later at night, Yang meets a strange woman in the town's restaurant and befriends her. Her name is Xia, and she is a demon hunter. Yang, who doesn't believe in demons, thinks nothing of her profession. Then, they are joined by Pei Rong, who has begun to suspect Mina of being a demon because the murders started on the day she came to town. Moreover, she recalls the time when they were working at a cosmetic shop, and Mina calmed down a rude customer just by asking her to keep quiet. It was almost as if she could hypnotize people. Pei Rong's suspicion was confirmed when she accidentally cut Mina's palm with scissors, but it didn't bleed. She has even taken Mina to a temple to ensure she isn't a spirit, but being in the holy place didn't affect her. Pei Rong wants Yang's help to solve the case because she knows her husband will laugh at her if she mentions the existence of spirits. Xia is intrigued by the rumored demon and is happy to have an exciting case on her hands. In the following scene, Yang goes to the cemetery where the dead bodies of the recent murders are kept. The precision of the cut in them makes it clear the killer is skilled. He also finds Xia resting inside one of the coffins and asks her to get out. She shows them a magical stone that glows in the presence of a demon within a 10 mile radius. Xia has come to the town using the stone, but she hasn't been able to find the spirit yet. Upon further investigation, they discover that all the murders have happened around the general's residence. 
This makes them even more suspicious of Mina. Coincidentally, at night, Yang runs into Xiao Wei, who is about to attack Xia. They get into a chase, but Xiao Wei manages to run away. Xia hurts her leg and has to be taken care of by Yang. They don't know what Xiao Wei's intention was, but come to the conclusion that he was just a thief. Xia shows Yang a demon stick that was a gift from her grandfather. No one has been able to take the cap off the stick yet. It is said that only a true demon hunter can do so. Yang gives it a try, but fails. The next day, Yang, Xia, and the commander, who is helping them out, go to Wang and tell them about Mina. Wang looks at his wife in disappointment, knowing that she is the one who spread the rumor. He doesn't believe in demons, and is strictly against accusing an innocent girl of murdering people. Still, the others pressure him to do an inspection to confirm or deny the accusations. Most of the soldiers are on Mina's side, since she has wooed them with her beauty and sweetness. Yang tries to cut her hand to prove otherwise, but Wang stops him. He declares that the girl is innocent, but his wife stands against him. She wants to check her for a demon birthmark that is bound to be somewhere on her body. The women take her into a room and strip her naked, but cannot find the mark. Wang asks everyone to go away after that. He is especially mad at his wife for letting jealousy take the best of her. He makes her apologize, but in turn, Mina asks her to let her be Wang's mistress. Both Wang and Pei Rong are shocked at the demand. Wang gets up and declares that there can only be one first lady, and he already has one. He tells Mina he cares about her, but he cannot betray his wife. Later that night, Wang dreams of walking to Mina, who is taking a bath inside of a cave. He sees himself making love to her and wakes up covered in sweat. Then he goes to her room to talk. Mina tries to slide her gown off, but he stops her. He thinks that she is too good to be someone's mistress and instead deserves a loving husband. When she asks him to be her husband, he tells her how much he loves Pei Rong. Suddenly, Xiao Wei attacks them. He has developed an unrequited love for Mina and is furious that Wang is making her cry. In the end, the soldiers are alerted and he has to run away. However, during the commotion, Pei Rong notices that her husband was in Mina's room. She is ready to give him up if he is also in love with her. Wang tells her he is not interested, but sees through his lies. When Mina meets Xiao Wei again later, he confesses that he is in love with her. This angers her even more after he tried to kill the person she loves. He tells her that love between demons and humans is impossible, but Mina asks him to go away and never show his face again. Later, Pei Rong goes to Mina's room, deciding to to allow her to be Wang's mistress. However, to her surprise, she catches Mina peeling off her human skin. She proudly shows her real face after 20 years, not afraid of being exposed. It is a horrible sight that makes Pei Rong's skin crawl. Suddenly, they are interrupted by a soldier, and Mina kills him as well. When Pei Rong asks her to stop, she presents her with an offer. She is willing to never kill a single human in her life if Pei Rong walks away from Wang's life and never returns. To save her people, Pei Rong reluctantly agrees to do as she says. Then she is made to drink a poison that makes her skin and hair white, giving her an inhuman look. Outside, the soldiers find her and assume that she is the demon that has been killing people. The entire town sees her new face and throws stones at her. Pei Rong doesn't speak up for herself, ready to sacrifice her life for others. Just before she is killed, Yang saves her and brings her to a cave nearby. He doesn't trust her when she says she is a demon. Xia confirms that she recognizes her symptoms as the side effect of a poison. As they think of the next step, Wang arrives with the soldiers and is shocked to see his wife in such a situation. As the general, he is obligated to kill her for her crimes, but as her husband, he cannot do it. Pei Rong tells him that she killed everyone, but he declares that he loves her as a human and as a demon. In the end, she impales herself on his sword and dies. Wang is devastated. He holds her body and cries in agony. Mina tries to sympathize with him by moving closer, but he takes no notice of her and continues to sob while holding on to Pei Rong. This is when Mina realizes that Wang will never truly love her, no matter what she does. Right then, Yang hits Mina with his sword and proves that she is the real demon when the weapon does her no harm. But at this point, Mina doesn't care that her cover is blown. Wang begs her to bring his wife back, to which she asks him what she will get in return. Not wanting to live a life without Pei Rong, Wang commits the unthinkable. 
Mina breaks down into tears and manifests her power orb to life. It is the formation of chakra that she has collected throughout her life that has the power to bring back the dead. She tries using it on Wang, but is stopped by Xiao Wei. He steals the orb because if Mina uses it, she will go back to her most primal form. Moreover, the orb is the result of thousands of years of hard work, and he doesn't want her to waste it on a man. Yang attacks Xiao Wei, and a fierce battle ensues between the two. This time, Yang has Xia by his side, who knows how a demon can be killed. She brings out her grandfather's weapon and tries to open it one last time. To her surprise, she does the unpredicted and takes the cap off. Then, she attacks Xiao Wei and finally kills him. But right after, Yang dies because of his injuries. She weeps, asking him to come back, as the two had started to like each other. At last, Xia walks to Mina to end her life once and for all. However, she sees that both Xiao Wei and her orb are in front of her now. Mina uses them to give life back to everyone who died in the cave. As Wang wakes up, he sees Mina fade into nothingness. He runs to his wife and is relieved to see that she is alive. A few days later, everything goes back to normal in the town. Wang wants Yang to stay in the town and help the soldiers, but he has decided to accompany Xia in her demon hunt mission to the south. In the last scene, we see that Mina has manifested in her white fox form. She has no power to return to her former self, but her memories are still intact. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.